Hey guys, this is Helmers10, and uh, this is going to be a special Majora's Mask video. Now, as I, as you may have seen me say in the, the comments, or the channel comments rather, uh, I do not have enough time to uh, make a full out walkthrough, so I've been just doing a couple random videos. I know I, know I could have done more, but honestly, it just didn't happen. I'm sorry. But, um, the first video I already uploaded it was a Wild Arms video. Now, this video is going to be a glitch on how to become a Fierce Deity Link anywhere. Now, there are a couple notes about this. First of all, there's multiple multiple ways to do it. I'm going to do it the way I know, which is through the Andrew Caffey side quest. And side note, if I don't say it correctly, please don't correct me. I don't care. Uh, two... Well, yeah, that was one. Two, this glitch, though awesome, does have some limitations, we shall say. Essentially, uh, your game could freeze up very easily or you could get stuck. Like, for example, if I remember correctly, if you uh, enter this room, or this building, the Stockpot Inn, while in Fierce DT Link form, you will be stuck inside permanently, unless... I, there might be a glitch to get out of, uh, I remember correctly, but I'm not entirely sure. Uh, anyway, grab the key. Just so happens a Goron made a reservation, and he has the exact same name as you, so it turns out Link is a jerk, taking full advantage of it. But, uh... Anyway, what I'm playing on right now is my... Nintendo 64. I'm playing with the uh, Golden Hall graphic cartridge, you know, the gold cartridge that had the 3D sticker on front, which is mine, by the way. In technically speaking, uh, technically speaking, this was my first video game I ever received. Once you count the ones I kind of sort of took from my family. But, technically speaking, this is the first game I ever received. Um, the file I'm playing on is actually the original file I first started when I got this game back in winter of 2000. So this file is nearly 11 years old, which is crazy, I know. I was, like... I... I don't know, but no big deal, but... I was really young when I started this file, and it's still alive and kicking, and it's... it's just insane. Okay, so now, we gotta wait until 11.30 tonight. Let's do that. Da da da... I really shouldn't sing along with the song, because it's probably going to end up that I won't sync up the audio just right, and it'll just end up with me looking like a complete and utter moron who's out of sync. He's out of touch. Sorry. Um, okay. Now, if you watched my original walkthrough, you'll know how this quest goes, and if you didn't watch it, then either you already know because you played the game, or you have no idea what's going on. This this glitch and this side quest in general are quite time consuming. However, um you don't necessarily have to do everything that the side quest requires if you want the fierce deity glitch to work. That is of course unless you want to do the side quest along with the glitch, which would be kind of weird actually. I don't know how that would work, but in which case you'd have to do everything, but if you just want to perform the glitch, all you have to do is make sure that Caffey, whatever his name is, shows up in Icana Canyon. That's all you need. You don't need to do anything else. You don't need to give Andrew the pendant or anything. But, um... Hmm. I believe I did say that there are other methods to uh, do this glitch such as finding a body of water and doing some sort of fancy mumbo-jumbo, I don't really know. Well, 
I actually only heard about that today, that which is actually how I got the idea to do this specific video. I was like, hey, Fierce DD glitch, I never did that. I'll do it my way. Oh, I shouldn't say it's my way. It's not like I discovered it, I think. Eh. I'm pretty sure I didn't discover it. <laughs> That's really stupid to say, but... But whatever. It's the way I learned it. It's the way I do it. It's la -de -da -de -da. Oh, here's a fun glitch. If you jump just right, Link will fall through the floor, and then he'll reappear in uh, South Clock Town. Yeah, yeah, did you see that? Just fell right through. Nice. Anyway. I really should just edit this out, but I'm honestly a lazy pile. So, it's probably not going to happen. You just get to watch me screw around for a few minutes. Da dee da. Do 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 capital punishment. That was from Whose Line, by the way. Whose Line is it anyway? Probably one of the greatest shows ever made. Oh, there's the freak of nature himself. I should get out of here. You do not want to stop him. I repeat, do not stop his robbery, or else I think you pretty much screw yourself over. Um. Let's see, it's almost 11, kinda not really, la di da I suppose I could buy that special whatchamacallit milk for the heck of it, since I have the money and the time. Ah, uh, you are a member, please come in. Don't mind if I do. No, I don't want to speak to you. Chateau. 200 rupees. Yeah! No, I don't want to talk to you. God dang it. I freaking hate you. <sighs> I don't think I've said this yet, but... It's been a long time since I've held a Nintendo 64 controller in my hand, and... I must say, it's kind of weird. I'm not bashing it, it's just... It's been forever. kind of like it. But... But it's such an odd controller. I mean, I'm looking at it right now. Seriously, this is probably the oddest controller I've ever seen. Like, the Super Nintendo controller? That was normal. Nintendo controller? Normal. Sega Genesis controller? That was... Kinda normal. I mean, it had a ton of buns. Um... GameCube controller, that was, I guess, newer generation normal, if that makes any sense. Xbox and PS3 controllers, normal. I guess the PS, the DualShock is the same pretty much throughout all the generations. Well, for the most part, they're the same. Just minor changes. She should be walking by any second. Oh, wait, she should be walking out. Oh, there she is. With soup. Just a couple more minutes, and the hand out of the toilet's gonna appear. For those of you that know this quest, you have to give them a piece of paper, like a land title deed or a letter, or something like that. What I don't understand is why can't you just give him this? I'm assuming this is the paper he's looking for. Why can't you just give it, give this to him? I mean, that would be so much easier. It's so much less time-consuming, but whatever. Okay, we'll speak to you. Receive the letter from him. Please, here's my letter. Please put this in the post box. I can't believe you have to actually do this. I'm too fat and lazy to put this in a post box, which is like two feet away from the stockpot in. Can you do it for me? Could have just said I mailed the letter. Now you can you can go meet him once he receives the letter. Ooh. <sighs> Whatever. Now you can put the letter in the post box anytime before the postman makes his rounds the next day, or the second day rather. 
and you can meet with Caffey as soon as he, uh, the postman does his deliveries. Okay. I don't think there's really anything left to do except to wait until the delivery happens, which is not until late in the next day, I think. Hmm. <laughs> ah, fudge. I love the song of double time. Replaces the sun song, but that's okay, because it's cool. Dawn of the second day, 48 hours remain. Um... assume that you can skip to the night of the second day and still meet with him. You know what? I'm gonna give it a shot, and if I screw up, uh, well, fudge. That's all I have to say about that. Oh gosh, only 36 hours. God, hurry. It worked! Woo! Green hat, green clothes. Oh god, I have to go through this whole frickin' cutscene and can't skip. Oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, interesting, yep. I haven't heard this about a billion times. That's almost literally two. Um... I get this question a lot. If you're well, if you're trying to go through the whole side quest, give this to Anju. Give it. Give this pendant to Anju, or else she will not show up on the final night. I get that question so often, it annoys me so much. You all say that Anju doesn't show up, and you forget to give this to her. That is the, probably the most vital piece of this side quest. But if you're just going for the glitch, you do not need to give it to her. Who cares? And actually, I think we're ready to head towards the canyon right now. So, song soaring. Welcome to the canyon. I mentioned this or not already, but in my original walkthrough, I showed a, a a different glitch on how to enter the hideout, Sankin's hideout or whatever, uh, without waiting until he actually shows up. And I'm going to do that again here because I really don't want to wait. Essentially, lets you get in like a half day earlier, which is quite useful. But no matter when you enter and no matter how fast you go through, you'll always exit um, on the on the midnight of the final day. I had a brain fart there, excuse me. But yes, you'll always pop out of the hideout on the midnight of the final day. So pretty much all that's left to do is complete the side quest. If you're gunning for that, otherwise... Whatever. Let's see, if he's here, we're good to go. He's here, so... Let's do the glitch. Essentially, you just keep wa running into this crack, and eventually Link will jump through. And hopefully he doesn't fall down into an endless pit, and you have to respawn at the entrance to the canyon. Oh, come on. Last time I did this, I did in like two seconds. Come on, Link. You know you want to. Come on. Come 
Come on. Let's try it without the bunny hood. Come on, Link. You just jump through the crack. Just glitch through the crack. It's not that hard. Defy all physics and jump through. Maybe he needs a running start. No. God dang it. Come on, Link. Come on. There we go. Okay. Now, in order to perform this glitch, have the bunny hood on, okay? That is an important piece to the puzzle. And if you want to do something with Fierce Deity Link outside of this place, you have to still complete this part, okay? So, you know, make sure you complete it. And if you fail, I think you're pretty much stuck here, and you have to reset your game or something. I don't remember. Who cares? Okay, he's a retard. Okay. What you want to do is quickly step on the switch, and then your control will move over to Caffey. At this point, bring up your start menu, and do this. Now, the glitch will take effect as soon as you gain control over Link. Okay. Yeah, 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 we know there's a pit or hole at the end. We have to solve all the puzzles. La di da, la di da. Come on, come on, come on. I'm on budget, or I'm on a time frame thingy here. Come on. Why did I say I was on a budget then? Wow. Okay. Transform, Link. Transform into a terrifying, beastly god. Oh, yeah makes this uh, fighting portion so much easier because you're god. Yeah, one hit. Although I think the Gilded Sword does, whoopsie, does the exact same thing. No! Faster, Link, faster! No! Okay. Go! Yeah! Yeah! Do it! Now you have to fight a Wolfos, dude. You got wrecked. Da, 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 da. God dang it, I gotta stop singing, because I probably won't sing it up correctly. And victory is ours. Unfortunately for you, I did not give Anju the pendant, so you're effed. Have fun! But now you're Fierce Deity Link. And you have all the skills that he has, except even this. Because um, I read about that other glitch where you have to use the water in a certain way, and apparently if you do that glitch, you don't get the beam. This glitch you do. And hey, it's not midnight. Maybe I was wrong about that. Maybe. Who cares? I suppose I should take that back then, but who cares? Anyway, you can do pretty much whatever you want, although I suppose you're limited on where you can go because you can't use any items, but. Hey, you're Fierce Deity Link, who cares? Actually, you can't go that way. I think the only way out of here is, uh through this river. Dive, Link, dive! Also, apparently there's a way to reverse this glitch, too. Which I did not know about until I read about that other one today. In order to reverse this glitch and become normal Link again, you have to find a body of water that uh, Fierce D Link would actually dive in, like the one I was just in. And after that, just uh, equip the Zora Mask and... <sighs> there you go. 
but it's too bad he's too tall to swim in this water. So I suppose I'll try and find a body of water, see if it works, and then call it quits. You can't beat me, don't even try. I'm God. I'm the fierce deity. Ow. You can't hurt the fierce deity, go on now. I'm pretty sure there's some water out in the f in this uh, field somewhere, but I'm too lazy to look for it. I'm gonna try the laundry pool. I'm, I assume that's deep enough for him to swim in. If not, then whoopsies. Must beat the clock. Yeah. Only 12 hours. Do 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 do. do. Please be deep enough. God dang it, Link, you're too tall. There's no way to get into Great Bay because you can't ride a Pona. Um. Oh shoot, and I forgot about this glitch too. Once you enter the town, you can't leave because these guards treat you like a child or whatever, like Deku Link. It's ridiculous. Do this, I'm a god. Well, I think I kinda effed myself over here. Although I think there is a glitch that allows you to uh get past the guards, but I don't really care. Um Duh. Well, I think that's pretty much it for this video, I guess. I mean, I'm stuck in clock town. I'm not really willing to try and get past the guards because I'm not exactly sure how that glitch goes. So, um, I think we've reached the end of the line. Hopefully, you've enjoyed this video. Hopefully, you've learned something. If not, hopefully, you enjoyed it, like I said before. Um, yeah, I'm sorry I couldn't get a walkthrough or anything out before I left, guys, but, hey, what can I say? I'm lazy. Whatever. <sighs> this is Helmers 10, signing out.